Right, we are here and we are discussing what we call Pascal's triangle. And Pascal's triangle is a very, very useful triangle in mathematics, in the sciences. In particular, it is used to perform binomial expansions. So we begin with a one and we have two ones. And after having had the two ones, when you add the two ones up, you get two and you put ones on the sides. And then now when you add one plus two is three, two plus one is three, and you put ones on the sides and you add three plus one is four, three plus three is six, three plus one is four, you put ones on the sides, one plus four is five, four plus six is 10, six plus four is 10, four plus one is five, and you put ones on the sides, one plus five is six, five plus 10 is 15, 10 plus 10 is 20, 10 plus 5 is 15, 5 plus 1 is 6, and you put 1s on the sides. 1 plus 6 is 7, 6 plus 15 is 21, 15 plus 20 is 35, 20 plus 15 is 35, 15 plus 6 is 21, 6 plus 1 is 7, you put 1s on the sides. 1 plus 7 is 8, 7 plus 21 is 28, uh, 21 plus 35 is 56, 35 plus 35 is 70, 35 plus 21 is 56, 21 plus 27 is 28, 7 plus 1 is 8, and you put 1s on the sides. And this here is called Pascal's triangle. It actually is used to um, expand binomial expansions, and we shall expand, um, obviously, x plus y all to the power 7 actually here. Right, now, moving forward, there are a couple of things, therefore, we need to consider We'll spend some time on just pe perhaps how to construct this. We've seen that we begin with the number one there, and you put ones like this. And if you add these ones, you get the number two, and you put ones like that. If you add one, one plus two, you get a three, two plus one, you get a three, and you put ones on the sides. Okay, let me just clean this up. Let me just clean this up. Let me just uh, get this cleaned up just a sec. Right, so what we have then is that we have a 2 plus 1 is 3, and you put 1s on the sides, um, like that. And then if you add 3 plus 1, you get a 4. 3 plus 3 is 6. 3 plus 1 is 4, and you put 1 on the sides. So 1 plus 4 is 5. 4 plus 6 is 10. 6 plus 4 is 10. 4 plus 1 is 5, and you put 1s on the sides, like, like so. Okay, and you continue just like that. And uh, now we're going to actually um, extend this triangle as much as possible. And we shall be in a position to get what is required. And so let's just uh, take note of these here and see how well we can do. For example, shall be in a position to add, um, just include the one there. Okay, then. 1 plus 5 is 6, 5 plus 1 is uh, 5 plus uh, 10 is 15, 10 plus 10 is 20, 10 plus 5 is 15, 5 plus 1 is 6, you put 1s like that. Um, 1 plus 6 is 7, here is 21, which is 6 plus 15. And then 15 plus 20, you get a 35. And then 20 plus 15, you get a 35. And 15 plus 6, you get a 21. You put 7s, uh, and then you put 1, 1. Now, uh, 1 plus uh, 7 is actually 8 here, and then you put 28 here, and then here you put uh, exactly um, 56 here, and you put 70, and you put um, 56 here, and you put 28 here, when you, which is 2 plus 21 plus 7, and then 7 plus 1, you have 8, and then you put 1 there, and you put 1 there. Just like so. And obviously, this can be extended um, even uh, further. So now we want to look at the specific examples or expansions. Let's look at some examples. Let's expand uh, first x plus y to the power 1. What is this? So this is exactly the same as x plus y. And obviously, it corresponds to 1, 1 in view of the coefficient of x and that of y. But if you have uh, x plus y, which uh, we square like this, what is this? Okay, so now this one here, you look at the um, row that has that is rated to 2 because uh, that is below the 1, 1. 
So below the one, one, you have one, two, one, okay? So which means therefore we shall have uh, one and uh, we have x squared. Then there is a two um, with the product of x and y. And then there is a one up with the y squared so that you have one, two, one like that. And then we have x plus y here to the third power. Right, so to the third power is one, three, three, one, one, three, three, one. So obviously if you cube this, because uh, this is, uh, um, so we know that this is exactly x cubed, plus what you do is um, from the one, three, three, one, you put, the, we have the one here and you have three there. And you decrease the power from x cubed, uh, you have x squared y plus three. You in, uh, so the powers of x now decrease from one to two, then one. Powers of y increase, and then now this becomes a y cubed. This corresponds to the one, three, three, one row of the Pascal's triangle. And uh, now this can be continued. Let's uh, do x plus y to the fourth power. And uh, obviously this is one x to the fourth power plus, okay, if you look at the one that is below the one, three, three, one, um, below one, three, three, one, we have one, four, six, four, one. Okay, one, four, six, four, one. So, which means here we have, you have a four here. X uh, to the fourth power is x cubed. Um, and there is uh, obviously y here. Then there is a, a six in this x squared uh, with a, a y squared plus a four with x uh, uh, and y cubed like this. And uh, moreover, we therefore have a y to the fourth power. Okay, and you note that if uh, um, obviously this is to the power one, you have uh, actually two terms. If it's the power two, you have three terms. Um, so to the power three, we have one, two, three, four terms. All right, so the, the number of the terms um, is actually just one more than the power because here to the fourth power, what do we have as the, um, as the number of terms? You can see therefore here that the number of terms are one, two, three, four, five, okay? Right, so, um, right, what are the coefficients here? All right, so you can see that the coefficients are one, four, six, four, one. So the one, and if you add here, you get four, you get six, you get four, you get one. Now, you can continue with the process here. Let's uh, do, because uh, our aim in the beginning was to do x plus y to the seventh power. Let's just do x plus y to the seventh power. So that x plus y, to the seventh power is the same as what? So it is the same as, okay, to the seventh power, it relates to obviously this one here, which is one, seven, 21, 35, 35, 21, seven, one. Okay, right, so we have exactly that, that one there. Okay, let's just expand this. So here, if you expand this, you put one times X to the seventh power plus, then you have seven x to the sixth power, and then you have y plus, then you put 21 x to the fifth power y squared plus 35 x to the fourth power y cubed plus 35 x to the third power y to the fourth plus 21 x squared y to the fifth power plus seven x y to the sixth power plus, okay, so what is this? This is exactly one times uh, y to the seventh power. Okay, right, in view of these, you're able to see what is happening here, but we're able to see most importantly that this corresponds to the row. So here you're gonna 
go through some, okay? Because, because here, we're gonna go to the power five, to the power uh, six, and then to the power seven, okay? To the power five, to the power six, and to the power seven. So let's just note that. So you have to the power five here, and then to the power six, and then to the power seven. Okay, these are sort of the powers that you're gonna get there. Okay. Right, so you're gonna jump here. So you're gonna jump uh, like two of them. And then now you're gonna get to the seventh power, which is gonna actually have one. Okay, let's just uh, write uh, in, the, in the intermediate ones here. What are the intermediate ones? Okay, let's just write to make sure that uh, this uh, triangle is complete. Let's just uh, complete the triangle um, very well for everybody to see what is happening here. Okay, if you add uh, one and four, you get a five. Four and six, you get a 10. Six and four, you get a 10. Four and one, you get a five. Then we have a one, one, like so. Okay, now I want us to continue and finish this off. Like if you add a one and five, you get a six. Five and 10, you get a 15. 10, 10, you get a 20. 10, 15, uh, 10 and five, you get a 15. A five plus one, you get a six, and then you have one, one. The seventh one, six plus one is seven, but you put a one there. Uh, six plus five, you have a 21. Uh, 15 plus 20 is 35. Uh, 20 plus 15, you get a 35. And 15 plus that, you get a 21, seven, one. So you therefore have a one, one like that. Okay, and obviously it corresponds to the one, seven, 21 coefficient. 35 coefficient, 35 coefficient, 21 coefficient, um, um, seven, and then one, okay? The one, seven, 21, 35, 35, 21, seven, one. Okay, those are sort of the coefficients that we can see in the seventh power expression. And now we have uh, studied uh, this uh, Pascal's triangle, but obviously now the Pascal's triangle has a one at the top, top. Right, so this one here corresponds to um, an expression. So you can look at that and look at what happens when um, we actually obviously looking at that. So a couple of ways to look at that because one can look at it as x plus y to the zeroth power. When x and y themselves are not zero, so you will get uh, that, uh, um, you'll get a one there like that, okay? So, um, that sort of becomes uh, the result um, that you can get uh, in view of the binomials. But if, if you put power one, you have x plus y and so on. So that can just be um, as well a comment exactly on that. Okay, so these are the sort of things that uh, obviously you look at. Um, otherwise, then we are done with the um, analysis of the triangle. And thanks everybody. Goodbye to you.